With the spread of the Delta variant, we've seen cases rise in every county across central New York, Cuga County included. Let's welcome in Public Health Director Kathleen Cuddy to join us now to talk about a dramatic rise in cases in your county, Kathleen. Thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me. Uh, we've been watching numbers climb fast through August, but just how big has this surge been in your county, Cuga? I mean, put it into some perspective for us. We're as surprised as everyone else and at the increase in numbers that we had. In June, we had 45 total positive cases. Uh, in July, we had 73 people who were positive. In August, 747 cases of people who are positive with COVID-19. Incredible. That's 706 is like, 706 is like what? Compare that. It was like last December, January. What's 706? So it's 747. 47. And, and it is the third highest month we have had since we have identified COVID and been tracking it. December last year and January last year were higher. Wow. Uh, who seems to be getting sick? I mean, what's the breakdown of vaccinated, unvaccinated? Uh, let's start there. I have some data in front of me mm -hmm. for the month of August. Mm -hmm. We have a, a good number of, of minors who are positive. Nearly 20% of the August cases were, were minors who were positive. But the majority are between ages of 18 and 64. 68% of those age groups were our positive, made up our positive caseload for August, whereas our 65 plus age group, who also happens to be the best vaccinated group, is 12% of our cases in August. Um, when we're talking minors and kids, um, are we seeing any severely sick? Just today, um, we had reports from our regional hospitals, including our local hospitals, of three uh, minors who are hospitalized with COVID. Can you say more specifically what age range we're talking there? So for us, we categorize in decades. So we're calling it the tens, which would mean anywhere, someone between age 10 and age 19 who's in the hospital. So we have three Cuga County residents who fit that demographic. Wow, and, and obviously they're serious if they're in the hospital, but no really um, more specifics than that. I don't have more specifics okay. right now. Uh, any idea where these people, um, I'm not just talking about those, those three, but uh, where people are getting sick? I mean, is there any ties to state fair, concerts, whether it's the AMP or other upstate venue, travel? Um... We have had a few reports of people who've been to the fair. We've had some reports of people who've been to the concerts at the amphitheater or elsewhere, uh, but no particular event of recent weeks that appears to be triggering this outbreak. Um, schools obviously are starting up next week. Um, what are you watching most closely? What's your biggest concern right now? We want to keep our children in school, just like everyone else. Right? We know that it's good for them. So we want to um, really encourage people to be vaccinated if they work in schools, if they work with school children. We want to really encourage families with children who are eligible for vaccine to have their children vaccinated. That's going to help keep, keep children in school should there be a positive case and we need to quarantine children. Um, and our children are really good about uh, adjusting. Right? So we, we have every great confidence that using their face masks and face covers in school will, will come back to them very naturally. Kathleen Cuddy, Public Health Director for Cayuga County, uh, thanks so much for joining us. I know you and so many others of you in your, in your field have so much going on. We really appreciate you taking the time to, to help educate us about the situation. We see those numbers, but uh, it really means a lot when we hear you know, what it means uh, from people like you. Thank you. Thank you.